What's going on, Thunder Nation? Another edition of Musing with Malsey. And joining us is head coach Bruce Ramsey. And coach, back here in Wichita for the first time since April. It's got to be uh, an exciting feeling. You get through the summer and now you're ready to get going. Yeah, you know, it's been a good summer. We had a great job of uh, recruiting this summer. Uh, really excited about the quality of players that we have. And uh, obviously getting uh, geared up here for the regular season. And we got a bunch of players in San Jose right now. So feels like training camp has already kind of started. And, uh, you know, I've been talking to them and they've been working hard and uh, they're, they're all pretty sore right now because it's been, it's been tough, but uh, they'll be in good shape when they get to our camp. But uh, it feels good to be back in the office, back in uh, my favorite place here in Wichita. And, uh, you know, just uh, a few days away from uh, hitting the ice and getting things going. Why don't we talk uh, first about the core of players that you brought back? What went behind the decision to re-sign uh, some of the guys from last year's team? And what are you excited about what they can bring for this season? Yeah, you know, we have actually 13 returning players, which is probably the most um, that we've had in uh, the years that I've been here. And uh, I know last year we didn't end up where we wanted to be, but I thought the last half of the season, you know, we had probably one of the better records in our division and, uh, gave it a real good push after, uh, you know, not so great first half. And uh, so I thought that, you know, with the success that we had in the latter half of the season, that we had a lot of good quality players. And a lot of the guys that we had last year wanted to come back. And obviously that doesn't mean everybody's guaranteed a spot. We have a lot of new young players coming in as well that have really solid credentials from their uh, places that they played, whether it be major junior or division one. And uh, obviously, we're going to see what we get from San Jose at some point. I don't know. They seem to have a lot of players, but um, that, that's always up in the air up until the day they call me and say, we're sending this down. Uh, you don't know about injuries and everything else that happened during the NHL training camp. So, uh, But definitely, we have a really good core, and I want to build around that core and make this team as strong as possible and put ourselves in a position again to be in the playoffs and to be a team that can compete in winning this league. First and foremost, uh, talking about, uh, you know, the guys up front, you're obviously got Jay Dickman back, but Peter Bates, who unfortunately decided to leave and go to Europe last year, what was the conversation with him and, and why he decided he wanted to come back and play for you? Yeah, you know, he had an offer he couldn't refuse. Uh, I encouraged him to go. It's, you know, it sucks. You don't want to lose a player that at one point in the season was leading the league in points, but, um, you know, the money was – probably five times as much as he would make for a full season. And that was only for about a month and a half. So, uh, you know, it's a, a game changing decision. And, you know, first and foremost, I worry about my players and uh, their futures and everything else. And uh, hockey is just a game, but, uh, you know, he set himself up, but he loved it here. Uh, I believe he liked playing for me. Obviously he wanted to come back and really enjoyed the, the group of guys that we had here. So, um, you know, he's, I don't think he's just a European player and, he still has that dream of getting an opportunity in the American Hockey League, and he's good enough to get there. So um, he, he decided that he wanted to stay back in North America and play in the East Coast Hockey League and uh, play in this great town in Wichita. Who knows where he would have ended up in the scoring race. Uh, like you had mentioned, he was in the top three in scoring before he ended up leaving. Yeah, yeah. He's a hell of a player. He plays all three positions, uh, plays all specialty teams. <laughs> he, he does it all. He's quiet, but he leads by example, and you know, he wore the C for us for a little while when uh, we had that opening and uh, did a great job there. So I can't say enough. You know, I'm definitely excited to get him rolling and back in our lineup. And he's a very good complimentary player with another player that we expect to have back that we haven't signed yet. But uh, at some point, uh, I'm pretty sure that he'll be here. In terms of your back end uh, on the blue line, you've got three returners that have a ton of playing experience and a couple of younger guys. What do you expect uh, right off the bat from your defensive core? Yeah, you know, we got three veteran guys in Dominic Dockery, Nolan Neen, and Chase Kuz Shane Kuzmeski, who both played very, very strong uh, throughout the year. But, you know, the, once again, they really solidified our decor in the last half of the season. So having that experience back there is great. And we've signed some really exciting rookies. Uh, you know, we brought back Nick Favaro, uh, who in a short stint here uh, did well. And, you know, we came here from Cincinnati off an injury and uh, jumped in. And I think we were four and one when he was in the lineup. Uh, Tyler Jetty came in from uh, Lakehead University uh, towards the end of the year and 
you know, it was a plus defenseman. Him and Dominic Dockery paired together very well. And then obviously we won a lot of games with him in the lineup and got a couple of really good young rookies that I'm really excited about, TJ Lloyd and Nico Somerville, uh, both high-end Division One players that had outstanding years. Nico Somerville led his team in plus-minus last year at American International Co College. And TJ Lloyd, if you just look at his numbers throughout his NCAA career, they were outstanding. So, um, and I know he's having a real good camp up with San Jose. So, um, you know, we got a lot of depth there. And then that obviously does not include uh, defensemen that we could potentially get from San Jose. And then your thoughts on some of the younger uh, players up front. I, I know you were pretty excited about a, a few of those guys. Well, you know, we got Cole Walker coming back. He was an, uh, you know, instant ingredient that we needed when he came here. He put up, uh, you know, with limited ice time, he put up a lot of points. Um, was here when we won a lot of hockey games. Um, I think he's going to be uh, a very good player for us. Um, you know, the list goes on of some of the uh, young kids that we've signed. I got TJ Walsh, who I traded for through the Kelly Ben trade. He's in San Jose right now. Uh, led his Division One team in scoring last year. And the coach of Orlando had nothing but great things to say about. He's up in San Jose right now. Um, you know, uh, Jake Wallen coming back, who's... Mr. Steady Eddie uh, puts up 30 points a year, kills penalties, works hard, heart and soul guy. Dylan Boucher, to me, one of the toughest hard-nosed players in the league. Um, you know, and I'm, I'm, you know that's a lot of guys that listed right there, but we still have a lot more coming in that I'm excited about. Head coach Bruce Ramsey joining us. Uh, final question for you. Uh, first and foremost, congrats to John Gerskis as he heads over to uh, begin his head coaching career, but a change in that regard as you have one of your former teammates and Travis Clayton, you, you got to be excited about working with Travis uh, here as we get started. Yeah, you know, uh, me and Travis played together. Uh, actually, me, Travis, and Johnny, all three of us played together back, uh, oh, I don't even know, it was a long time ago, 25 <laughs> years ago, but uh, I really enjoyed playing with him. He was a hard worker. He led by example good leader and he's been doing a lot of coaching in uh, Canada over the last number of years and uh, brings a wealth of experience. You just got to look at the Raptors to see his name up there and he's going to be a huge addition for us and, you know, great for Johnny. I'm really excited for him uh, getting this opportunity. He put his time uh, in here uh, to get that opportunity. And uh, I know he's going to do a great job in Excel, uh, you know, in Knoxville. Well, looking forward to it. I I'm sure Molson's got to be, uh, happy to be back and, and get out over uh, by the lake or that river or whatever it is over by your apartment complex. But it, looks it, like, it was yeah, tough to it was tough to drag him out of uh, a <laughs> hundred mile long lake where he walked out. It was right there for him. And you know, a couple other forwards too that I didn't bring up. You know, you have Carter Jones. Uh, we have Declan Smith coming back. You know, those are two guys that uh, I have high high hopes for. And uh, you know, there's there's a you know, Ryan Finnegan, who scored 10 goals last year for us in limited ice time and uh, brings his all every game. So uh, the list goes on. You know, it's, uh, it's going to be an exciting times for the fans of the Wichita Thunder. Sounds good. We'll see you uh, hopefully in a couple of weeks as we get ready for the home opener. And uh, good luck as you get started. All right. Thanks, Malsey. It's great talking to you. That's Bruce Ramsey. Thanks so much for tuning in, fans. Uh, until then, enjoy the rest of your a week and we'll get ready for the home opener on October 18th. Tickets are on sale now.